Hey guys, I'm back again and today I am back with my little bit overdue uh, monthly favorites of August 2015. August was pretty much the last month of actual summer. Um, I'm a little bit sad and a little bit bummed that it's over with, even though I have to admit I don't really have that many favorites, really. I mean, what do you use in August? You know, you use some protective stuff and a bathing suit, maybe? Alright, let's just get started. As I said, I don't really have too many favorites. Um, the first one is a makeup item, and this is the BB Cream of Garnier, and I don't know, I've been using this BB cream. This is actually the only thing that I've been using, like, on my face. I have not used foundation at all in August. Um, this is what the cream looks like. This is the light uh, shade because I do have, like, really light skin, like porcelain. Um, I don't know. I've been loving this stuff, and I haven't really been using all that much of it either, but definitely only this. The next and pretty much already last makeup favorite <laughs> is this um, lipstick from Maybelline. It is the uh, the number is 020. It's the Tropical Pink Color Sensational Pop Stick. Um, it looks like this. See, it's, it's like see-through. I don't know if the camera is probably not going to pick up the color just right as it should. But these things are so awesome. They kind of remind me of lip balms, but when you put it on your mouth, um, your mouth gets a certain color. And with this one, it is really, really bright pink. And um, actually, it is not as greasy as I probably would like it to be because it tends to dry out and then your lips do stay that color until like the next day. But they do tend to be kind of dry still pretty much only use this um, little balm or lipstick, whatever you want to call it, um, because this is actually perfect for the beach. Now, I've been using um, three, like, cosmetics, really, this month. One I don't have with me, and I'll start with that one. It's from uh, Yves Rocher. It's the, um, the little thing that we received in... I think the duty box of July, I'm not really sure, I think it was the duty box, yeah, the big, like, uh, sun protective spray, you know, uh, SPF 30, that thing was amazing, I used it up completely this summer, not just me, my mother used it, my sister used it, yada, 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 um, that thing was perfect, I got such a lovely tan from that, I, I really can recommend it to everybody, unfortunately, I don't have it with me here to show because I used everything up. The next cosmetic favorite that I can show you is this uh, body spray from uh, Frutini, the Strawberry and Star Fruit Spray. As you can see, I have quite a little bit left. I pretty much use it up completely. Um, this is the exact same spray that I had in last month's favorite, which was like the, bit, the big uh, pot, the body sorbet thing. It's the same thing, the same line. Uh, also the same strawberry, strawberry, god, I'm doing it again, strawberry and star fruit. Um, but this is just the spray, the body spray. Uh, it's easier, you know, just your regular spray. It's easy for travel. It absorbs so fast. It's cooling. This is just perfect for the really hot summer days. And now to my last cosmetic is one that my boyfriend actually bought for me in um, Germany. This is the Citrus Deo, and I think I already talked about this in, I don't know what favorites, um, the different kind of spray Deo. See, it has this kind of a spray on it. The bottle looks like this, and as you can see, I've used up quite a lot. The only thing that kind of bugs me about this is that it has alcohol in it, which means your armpits, well, you know, sometimes are sensitive to alcohol, but usually you're gonna sweat if there's alcohol in it, even though it's a deodorant, right? But this one smells so fresh, that's the reason why I've been using this. It smells so amazing, especially um, in combination with the Frutini, like um, strawberry and starfruit. This is citrus. These two things just match 
perfectly. All right, we're on to the perfume of the month, which is yet again a perfume that we already uh, had in a monthly favorites. The Celine Dion Notes. Um, as I said in my perfume stash video, I lost the cap. I, I don't know where it is. But this is legit the only perfume that I've been wearing uh, the pretty much the entire month of August. It was the only one I had with me even. Uh, as you can see, quite a lot is already gone. Um, and this, now that I'm back, this is pretty much going to be my daily perfume. You know, just like every day on the go. Um, until it's just done for. Alright, so the color of the month was quite hard actually because I didn't have a specific color. Um, so I kind of thought about the colors that I used most this month that I was most into and I bought so many lipsticks like coral lipsticks but more orange corals so definitely the color orange and the color pink because I've been wearing the heck out of that um, uh, Maybelline pop stick that I showed you earlier um, definitely pink and orange were the colors um, this month now when it comes to clothing my favorites were hot pants and sandals it's easy for the beach for basically anything you always look good in hot pants um, I don't know, I've been wearing like hot pants like crazy I have about four of them I believe four one two three yeah I think about four or five I've been wearing them like crazy this month um, also beach dresses but still more hot pants than beach dresses really because the summer is just crazy hot and what way better to combine them with than sandals sandals are the best thing for summer um, I definitely love using them using really no I love wearing them um, pretty much during all summer months. For the song of the month, I could not choose a specific song. I really, really couldn't. Um, the only, well, it's not necessarily a song, but it's more of an artist, and I got two artists, which I've been listening to like crazy. My mom and I, uh, bought their albums, and we were listening to it in the car, you know, when we were driving. One is a Croatian group, which is called Colonia. Uh, we bought their album. It's, it's an old album already, but still we loved it. In all honesty, kind of forgot the name of the album. Still we've been listening to it. And then the second artist is from Serbia. His name is Željko Joksimovic. He was in the Eurovision Song Contest in uh, 2009, I think. I'm not really sure, but he had a song called La Nemoje, which is just one of the most beautiful songs ever. Um, but we bought his album too. Uh, that song was actually on that album. Forgot the name again. But we've been listening to mostly those two um, artists. And then the last thing, the last favorite should be a movie. But <laughs> in all honesty, I have not watched one single movie in the month of August. I know it sounds so stupid. But I have not. The only thing that I've watched was this uh, documentary about um, women in Ethiopia who were uh, giving birth way, way too soon. And usually the babies were dead once they were born. And their um, bladder um, ripped for some reason. And sometimes even the rectum ripped. So they were leaking all the time. And... They were pretty much shunned from everything and everybody, you know, their families didn't want anything to do with them. Um, their families forced them into marriage, yada, yada, yada. So there was like this clinic they could go to, they fixed it, uh, they did surgery uh, on them and they fixed the problem. And then the women really did not want to go back, so they kind of took their kids and just ran off and started their own new lives. And I found that so empowering and horrible really to what these women have to go through and really that is the only thing that I've watched this month so I can't really I don't know what it's called because I didn't watch it from the beginning um yeah no movie but just pretty much a documentary was um definitely my favorite thing to watch uh, this month and those were my favorites um I know I, I tr I'm trying to rush through this I don't think I succeeded very much but I tried, um, like I said, didn't really have that many favorites. Um, really, August is just a chill month, a nice month. I love August. Too bad that it's over. We're ready in September. 
Sorry it took a little bit longer than usual to film this, but I'm back now and you know all the videos are gonna be back up from now on. I would like to thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!